The clock is ticking for the North Carolina General Assembly to finalize the state budget. Lawmakers have less than two weeks to come to an agreement on how the state will be funded next year. The new fiscal year begins next month. One key sticking point is about education. Some lawmakers want to expand the private school voucher program. Governor Roy Cooper was in the try today speaking out against it. WFNY News 2's Amber Lake breaks down what could change if the current budget proposal is passed. So the biggest change, according to educators and the governor today, is that money will come out of public schools, which means some programs and opportunities may be taken away as well. Governor Rory Cooper sat down with elected officials and educators from across the triad, including Superintendent Dr. Whitney Oakley. They discussed teacher vacancies across the state, along with funding for public schools. And with the salary proposals that the General Assembly have made, both the Senate and the House budget are woefully short on the investments that we need for our educators. In a resolution adopted last week, Guilford County Schools requested that the North Carolina General Assembly increase teacher pay and stop unlimited expansion of the state's private school voucher program. The school district said the program takes money away from public education. I think in understanding that you know we choose to support arts education very strongly here. That is not something we want to have to give up. We're working really closely with our county commissioners to buy, to provide increased pay for our frontline workers. Now, Republican lawmakers argued that this is about students and parents deciding if they want to send their children to private schools and that it should be available to everyone. We talked to Representative Steve Jarvis at the end of May. You know, public school is not for everyone. Charter school is not for everyone. But given the choice and the opportunity, um, it's not right to give the opportunity to just a elite. Uh, everyone needs to have that opportunity, and that's what we're trying to do. Now, the budget has to be signed before June 30th. North Carolina's fiscal year starts July 1st. If a new budget isn't approved by then, the state continues to operate on the current budget until a new one passes.